Good morning, everyone. It's a wonderful Monday morning here in St. Mary on the island of Jamaica. I want to welcome you to Morning Prayer Live. Uh, serious, serious, serious issues, especially with Ava Grace, that we have to um, contend um, with this week. Apparently, there have been some issues um, challenging her and her mom, uh, who has not been posting much about them, apparently. But we are going to pray, as we will pray for other things. I am not going to belabor the point this morning um, of talking too much. There is a scripture, First Samuel chapter 17 and the 45th verse. That is First Samuel, the 17th chapter, and the 45th verse says, this is David speaking to the Philippine, the Philippines, to the Philistines, amen. This is David speaking to the Philistines. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin. So the enemy comes against us with all manner of things. Good morning, Catherine. It's been a while. It may have been on, but I haven't noticed so it's good to have you join us this morning from Kentucky. I, well, I assume you're in Kentucky. Um, but David came up, came up against the Philistine giant. And he makes a statement because the Philistine is a natural man. The Philistines are natural men. Uh, there are natural things that come against us as they're coming up against Ava Grace's physical body, against her family's finances, against all, against all that they are, and against if we have chosen to stand with Amanda, uh, that is Ava's mom, if we have chosen to stand with her and stand with Gail. Um, well, uh, <laughs> if we have chosen to stand with them, it means that the enemy is coming against us. Jesus said um, to um, Saul, before he was renamed Paul, that uh, he accused him. He said, you know, why persecutest thou me? And Paul never persecuted Jesus, per se, but he did persecute those that were a part of the body of Christ. And so this morning, First Samuel, Chapter 17 and the 45th verse says, You come against me with sword and with spear and with javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This morning, my friends, the enemy in your life and in my life, in Ava Grace's life, He's not coming against us um, only. He's coming against the armies of the living God, the power of the Word of God, the strength of the Word of God. And so this morning as we come together to pray, I want us to focus on God's Word and what God's Word says, you know, about the issues with which we are confronted in this case it's going to be a medical issue. And in some other cases, as we, will, as we will pray today in intercession, because as I said to some of you, I have decided uh, to repent uh, for things that I have not done, not things I've done, things I have not done with respect to prayer. And so I am refocusing my effort in these days of my life on the earth until I leave the earth to position myself as the individual of prayer that God has ordained that I be. And so, Father God, if you would join me, there's an awesome presence of Almighty God. There is what we call an anointing this morning. 
Jesus. Paulette Elliston. We lift her up. We lift up Ava Grace. And anyone else this morning, Father, whose name we may not know, but they're a part of this family. Or, Father, extended family members. We come in the name of the resurrected Christ, Jesus. There is no other name, Father, that exercises greater authority in the earth but the name of Jesus. We thank you this morning, Father, that each one that makes petition, each one that's suffering, Father, from, Lord God, the issues of cancer, of tumors, Father, of blood, Father, sicknesses, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, who we serve, Jesus, whose, at whose name every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Things in heaven, say things on the earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And Jesus spoke to the fig tree, and the fig tree had to bow to his presence. Sickness and disease this morning must bow to the name of of the mighty one of Israel, Yeshua HaMashiach, Ristival Shebre Fetarian Tennessee, Yeshua HaMashiach, Revositelman Andre Ishelahai, Jesus the Messiah, Revan Silukote. Father God, we effect and we enforce the plans and the purposes of God over Paulette, over Ava, Father, and over all the names that will be listed, Father, as men and women come to this program and begin to watch, Father, their names as listed this morning, Father, will manifest, Father, the power of God in their mortal bodies. Let faith arise in their souls this morning. Let faith arise in their souls this morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God, there is no one like you. And Father, over, Father, the families represented by those watching this morning, over the families represented, Father, by those that will watch over the next days and weeks and months. Father, we release the anointing, the virtue, the virtue of the Holy Ghost to touch their physical lives. You have called me, Father, to be a healer Father, to walk in the Spirit of God, to lay hands on the sick, to speak the word of healing over those that are physically afflicted. And we have seen it happen, Father. But God, we have stepped back because of Amalek, because of others that have caused us to slow down, Others and circumstances that have caused us to be still and be quiet, but Father, no more. This morning, as I look into the eyes, Father, of those, Lord God, that are watching, as I look into their physical 
infirmities and the situations confronting them. I stand with them in agreement. You said where two or three are gathered together, there you shall be in their midst. You said, Father, that and as we uh, shall agree as to touching anything, it shall be done of, you said it, Jesus, it shall be done by your Father in heaven. You said that if we ask any good thing, you will not withhold it from us. And this morning, Father, we petition. We petition. We ask, Lord God, that you touch the physical bodies of those in infirmity this morning. I thank you, Father, that those that are in chemo and, Father, having whatever kinds of medical procedure to infuse marrow, uh, bone marrow, to infuse chemicals, Lord God, into their bodies. Father God, to do something to affect and subdue, Father, the multiplication of cancerous cells in their body, to boost their immune systems, whatever it is that is being done today, I thank you, Lord God, that will, it will not just have the effect that the doctors envision, but it will have a multiplied effect, and that healing, Father God, unparalleled, uncanny, unusual healing will take place. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Father God, I remember someone called from the University Hospital of the West Indies and said a woman had stomach cancer and she could not keep anything down. And Father God, she was losing Father weight dramatically. And as we prayed, Father God, the very afternoon, she asked for a meal. The meal was provided. She ate and she kept it down. Do it again, Father. Do it again, Lord Jesus. Touch these physical bodies. Touch these physical bodies. Father, it is your will, according to your word, to heal the sick. You said in the book of Isaiah and the 53rd chapter and the 5th verse that you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you and with your stripes we are healed. We do not have to ask. We do not have to question. We do not have to research what your will is uh, relating to healing. Your will is call for the elders of the church and when they pray the prayer of faith the sick shall be forgiven of their sins and they shall be healed. You said that Jesus Christ when he came upon the earth in Matthew 8, in Matthew 9, in Matthew 10 it demonstrates the healing power of God. In 1 Peter 2.24, it demonstrates the healing power of God. Father, this morning, I greatly rejoice in your manifestation of healing across the earth as we minister to those this morning, Father, that are saddled and affected with infirmity. My friends, I don't know what is exactly happening again, but it seems like something is affecting the power, um, the power on my um, camera here. And so if we go off, we go off. But in the meantime, let us pray. 
Father, we release that force of heaven. Father, we release that force of heaven to make a difference in the lives of the children, in the lives of the adults, in the lives of Christians. Father, that the enemy is attempting to destroy, to kill. We speak, Father God, from the crown of Gail Conan's head to the very soles of her feet. Ah, I pray, Father God, for every abdominal issue and intestinal issue. Our emotion, I don't it is you, Syria to do in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak over Ava Grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, cancer cannot destroy the lives of my friends. Cancer and cancer cells will not replicate in their bodies this morning. For I release the very healing power of Almighty God to touch their physical bodies. Cancer of the blood, leukemia, I speak to you right now in the name of Jesus. Intestinal tract issues, I speak to you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Release the people of God. Be removed from the bodies of the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Father God, in agreement, everyone that is in agreement with me this morning, I thank you for them, right? Everyone in agreement, Father, with me this morning. I thank you, Lord God, that the very force of heaven is brought to bear to every sickness and every disease that has been petitioned for healing through these your people, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God of heaven, we call you the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. You are all powerful and all mighty. And when we believe, you said, all things are possible to him who believes. Father, you have anointed these hands, and you have anointed the hands of those that are watching. Mighty God, I thank you for releasing that power, that grace, upon those, uh, Father God, that are watching this morning, that they may also lay hands on the sick and see them recover, that they will speak healing, and Lord God, they will speak healing and healing will manifest. They will lay hands as Gail would lay hands on herself and healing would manifest. Mighty God, we grace, we walk in the grace, we walk in the grace, we walk in the grace of our Father this morning. Karit Ovila Kantorish. Every physical attack, and I think it just rolled off the screen, but very quickly, I saw Gail mention something about an intensity. There is indeed an intensity, but where sin, where evil abounds, my God, Rebo Shandarababa Sete. Where where sin or evil abounds, grace 
doth much more abound. Where sickness and disease abound, like the man that was sitting at the pool of Bethesda, as he sat there and there was no one to take him, the man of heaven, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, appeared and asked him, does he want to be healed? And he responded to Jesus. And Jesus responded to him this morning, mighty God, I thank you for responding to all those that are in need of a physical touch today. There is an intensity of the Spirit. There is an intensity of the anointing this morning to break yokes of bondage, of sickness that runs in families, to break yokes of bondage, of disease that have been opportunistic, to break the yoke of bondage, of the attack of the enemy, of, because of the strongholds that have been established in your lives since you were children. Right now, Father, every stronghold of sickness and disease that affects, Lord God, my friends, I ask you, Lord God, to obliterate it, to annihilate it in the mighty name of of Jesus. Thank you, Lyle. Sicoria, Fernel Babas, Isumbre. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Father, we have, and many out there, have retaken their mantle of prayer. If they had not had it before, they are now putting on and clothing themselves in the mantle of prayer to walk in the power of heaven. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, we are there and I have to keep focused on this issue of cancer, cancer of the liver, cancer of the blood, skin cancers, mighty God, mighty God, lung cancer, mighty God, mighty God, where cancer and cancer cells have overridden and overtaken there's someone that's watching and they were diagnosed with cancer. Your diagnosis was not recent and you had gone through all of the therapeutic procedures and now the doctors have said uh, that the cancer seems to have returned. But let me tell you, the doctors do not have the last word according to your help. The last word is in the word of the living God. And the word of the living God says, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Acts chapter 10, and I believe the 38th verse, it says how Jesus of Nazareth was anointed with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Sickness and disease is oppression. When Job was afflicted with sickness and disease, in the 42nd chapter, my friends, I'm looking at you right in the eye this morning. I'm looking at you and I'm declaring, when Job in the 42nd chapter of the book that bore his name, that bears his name, when he was healed, the Bible said the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Sickness keeps us in captivity. And I will not, I will not allow 
sickness and disease. I'm not talking about symptoms. I'm not talking about a few this and a little bit of that. I'm talking about the seriousness of a sickness that will kill you, that will take your money away from you, that will destroy your family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release you from the captivity of sickness as Job was released after his less than two years of being in captivity. I release you from the captivity of the satanic kingdom right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I release you from the captivity of cancer. I release you from the captivity of high blood pressure. I release you from the captivity of low blood pressure. I release you, child of God, from the captivity of sickness and disease. Now, now, this is a season of restoration. This is a season of jubilee. This is a season where you come and you begin to demonstrate my Shefar Tel Timonas, Revidances Gilea. You begin to reach in and grab a hold of God and you recognize that in this jubilee, in this season of jubilee, there is restoration, absolute restoration. Believe it, my friends. Believe it, my friends. Believe it. I am exercising faith on your behalf. And I ask you to join me in that exercise of faith. Let the agreement of faith, the power of faith, in the book of Mark and the 11th chapter, it says, what things soever you desire when you pray, Believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. The word shall is a legal term that dictates that through the power of agreement that the greater one shall release in your life that which is necessary for your restoration, your reconciliation, and your renewal. And so, Father, let reconciliation, restoration, and renewal take place. Let it take place. Let it take place. Jesus, when he came into Peter's house and his mother Peter's mother, I believe, was taken with a fever. Jesus walked over, touched her, and she was healed. When he went to the house of the child that had died, he said she was not dead, but she sleeps. His perspective of death was very different. His perspective of sickness is an opportunity for God's power to change the circumstances. Sickness is circumstantial evidence. It's not real. It's false evidence. It's evidence of a demonic presence or evidence of a biological challenge in your body. So this morning, we exercise. Again, my friends, I'm telling you, I am joining you this morning with my faith. I'm releasing my faith in agreement with you this morning for your shalom peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing that misses the glory, the majesty, and the healing presence of Almighty God. 
That's our focus for this week. The power of God to heal. The power of God to heal. Tell your friends, tell your family to join us each morning. To join us each morning and receive the faith of God for him.